Deputy President William Ruto chose the ongoing 17th Comesa Summit in Kinshasa, Congo as the perfect avenue of pushing for one year extension of the Comesa safeguard period which restricts sugar inflow in the country. Kenya was first accorded the protection from cheaper sugar imports from Kumasi region in March 2002 for an initial period of 12 months and subsequently renewed by the council from March 2003 to February 2004. The safeguards were extended in 2008 and 2012 and are set to expire in the next 48 hours. And if you don't get the extensions, it means that either number one, the sugar industry collapses, number two, Kenyans will not afford sugar. Mid this year, President Uhuru Kenyatta appealed to Comesa to extend the period of protection granted to Kenya against cheap sugar imports, noting that the extension would give the Kenyan sugar industry time to put its house in order before the inflow of the imported sugar from the 19-member state economic bloc. And the request was reiterated by Deputy President William Ruto, who is in Kinshasa attending the 17th Comesa Summit. But with the expiry coming in the next two days, MPs from Western Kenya have little confidence in government efforts to promote the sugar industry, given they have sought speedy actions since last year's September. It is regrettable that despite the several extensions on the safeguard, the government has not taken any deliberate measures to ensure that production of sugar in Kenya Uh, becomes competitive in readiness for the commercial trading block. I did put a question on the same in, uh, in September, uh, first parliament session. And up to now, there has not been any response. You recall again last week, I put a same, same question. There has not been any response up to now. And that's why now we're wondering, you see, if I had put a question uh, asking about commercial, asking about AFA, those are affecting us, how come the government has not uh, responded to our queries up to now. The legislators warned that some influential MPs in the Parliamentary Committee have been derailing their efforts to curb illegal importation of sugar in the country by working with some corrupt officers in the Kenya Sugar Board to bring in cheap sugar. To curb this, they want the Office of Inspector General of Police to form a special unit to save the porous borders. They are demanding that the Ministry of Finance table the list of paracetal sugar mills that are supposed to be privatized to Parliament immediately so that you can allow private capital to be invested in the sugar mill to increase their crushing capacity and to reduce the cost of sugar production. They also want the government to waiver all the liabilities of sugar companies as a measure to revive all the ailing companies. And this has been done before because I remember during the NAC government they waived all the liabilities that the coffee factories had by then. And that is how coffee took shape and where it is now. The country has not been able to meet the competitive market conditions and according to the